What up, players? It's Wolboss Tay, a British Moog. Today we're looking at the swordfish with a Y. And, um, what a cool looking ship. It's captained by this lady here on the left. Her name is Aranessa Saltspite. That's really cool. And she's rumored to be the daughter of Manan, who is like the, the equivalent of Neptune or the god of the sea. And, um, some people say that she's, uh, the daughter of. Manan, and some people say she's just a mutant who cut off her own fishtail after being cast out of her tribe as a child. And that is so cool. So, no matter what, the sh ship that she captains, this is this lady is like a real pirate. She's got a, hundreds and hundreds of, of cutthroats and brigands who crew the swordfish. And um, her, her ship is all fish-themed from the banners, which you can see, or the sails not the banners, but from the sails to the design and the makeup of the ship to the sea giant head at the front with the big rubies set into its eyes all the way down to, like, the it says that there are the teeth of sea monsters that have been um, taken out of sea monsters and put on its put on the hull to, like, the seashells decorating it to the rudder being replaced by a fin and a sea unicorn, right? A sea unicorn, is that what it says? Yeah, include unicorn whale horns on the mast, a ram made from a massive sea beast, and a sea giant figurehead with colossal jewels set in its eye sockets. So that's really cool. So this is what the Games Workshop Heavy Metal team did. And let's back out and show you my interpretation of it. Boop, 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 boop. Ta da! So, yeah, definitely having Balthazar Gold was a big help in this one really um, helped to be able to paint all of the gold on the side and everything and um, the highlighting following the guide in this white dwarf was really really helpful like you could see that I was able to play with a lot of the highlighting with uh, the white I think it was just hawk turquoise mixed with enchanted blue no no dark angels green that's what it was mixed with enchanted blue for all of the green on the sails and the the seaweed, and then you just add more and more white into it, but because of the, you know, the 3D aspect of it, it's really, you're really able to create some cool optical illusions with the highlighting. So, good fun. Um, yeah, the lady boss started this one, but she kind of uh, just did the base coats and was having a hard time with the highlighting, so I jumped in and helped her. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this little look at the swordfish, and stay tuned for more Dreadfleet and other awesome projects to come. Latest players!